Hi everybody! Uh, we are currently reviewing some uh, of our recent research, some uh, little study, some little playtests on uh, our latest build. And this study was aimed to, to answer some questions about balance, about how uh, players understand our, uh, our story, uh, our dialogues, uh, whether they are clear enough or not, how long does it take, for example, for a casual player to uh, get past all the missions that we have. Here we have some exemplary results from the survey that we've made and here we see how long did it took uh, those players to get past uh, the 11th mission of NML2. So the distribution of results is quite normal as we would expect and uh, for example in this question we asked how many uh, reverts to checkpoints or restarts did the players encounter so again none is the uh, is the best result more restarts are less common here so for example those results are quite good they are as expected but for example in the previous mission one mission before that mission 10 we can see that some people took a lot more time to get past this uh, this mission so it's kind of troubling and as we see uh, down here many people like 57 percent of them uh, had to restart the mission or revert to checkpoints at least once or twice it's again a bit troubling it imposes a question why did it happen right what did they uh, do not understood and for example the following question is more detailed and it asks for example what did you do not understood uh, during the mission so for example the black bar here represents uh, the answer that either understood everything about, for example, a unit called drone supply, drone factories, excuse me. Those bars here represent some kind of a confusion about this unit. So we can go now to to the game, we can see here uh, there's this mission that we've uh, talked about, we asked about in the survey. What we have to do here is some um, investigate some alien cocoons and what's specific about this mission is that our hero is separated from the squad by this wall over here. If we proceed with the mission, we see now that we have to transform our tank unit to drone factory. And what Drone Factory basically does is that, here he is, is he produces a small drone out of his head and that, and that drone hovers over our, our commander, we should see it right in a minute, here he comes, and he hovers uh, over our commander and he boosts every ability that I throw. So the boosted ability should reach, for example, this enemy unit. If it doesn't, we will trigger a trap that is, will produce a behemoth tower over here. So we have to quickly respond to this and disable other traps and not to trigger further behemoths along the way. Oh, and if you if you co confuse this, you'll again, your squad will be in a, a lot of trouble. And this is what basically happened during the probably during the survey during our study is that our players uh, did not understood what happened here what should they do uh, why uh, did they trigger those traps maybe it wasn't uh, clear enough maybe the the voiceovers weren't clear enough or the dialogues or the level design for that matter so my job now is to explain what happened in this mission uh, so that our level designers could correct this issue, maybe they could uh, correct some dialogue lines or for example erase some traps from uh, from this level because there are uh, so many of them that even now uh, I was unable to, to show you how it should be passed correctly. So ultimately uh, this is kind of a challenge that we encounter during the last phases of the production so we see how uh, players respond to to our ideas to our level design for example and we will have to fix all the issues that comes up out of our imagination